It's time to get the best armor set in Tears of the Kingdom to ruin every serious cutscene possible. We're talking about the Awakening armor set. And no, you don't need an amiibo to be able to get this. And what's even better is if you level it up to level two, you can look ridiculous and get an attack up bonus. I could have been sleep deprived and hallucinating, but I think the first time that you fast travel with this entire armor set equipped, you get a bit of an Easter egg as well. For the first part of this, we're gonna head northwest from Central Hyrule to the Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower. We're gonna launch out of it and start heading southwest to this location right here. You can see it when you launch out of the tower, we're kind of heading towards this ruins right there. If you don't like fighting Gleox, you might wanna be a little bit careful when you head to this location. As you're gliding down, you're probably gonna notice this big stone slab right here. If you head towards where the fire Gleox is over there, we're gonna climb up this pillar right here. Just go ahead and jump your way up there. Hopefully you have enough stamina and you'll notice that there is a button at the top. We press this button and it's going to open up this trap door for us. Jump off the pillar and glide your way inside. You can just kind of let go and then turn around. And you'll notice that there's another one of these like Misko's treasure. I think that's Misko, right? I can't. It's been so long since I picked up that first initial quest line, but all you gotta do is run up to this chest, open that bad boy up, and wham bam, thank you ma'am, we've got the Tunic of Awakening. Next, you're gonna head just south of Central Hyrule to the Hyrule Field Skyview Tower. You're gonna launch yourself out of it and head towards the old Colosseum area. If you have the glider suit, you can get here extremely fast. Now, unfortunately, there is going to be a Gliok here, and I can show you exactly how to kill this thing very, very quickly. Before we go and fight this Gliok, I highly recommend hitting up on the D-pad and then sorting your inventory by Zonai devices and dropping one of these rockets. You're then going to fuse this to your shield, and now you should have quick access to be able to drop these rockets and be able to fuse them really quickly. I'm gonna use a spiked Boko bow for this to show you that you can do this at lower levels. I do have better bows, but I'm gonna specifically use worse ones. Once you engage the Gliok, just pay attention to its heads. Once they start going a little crazy, you're gonna launch yourself up with the rocket, then you're gonna activate your glider, and you're gonna aim for each of these heads. You're gonna notice that once you hit them, you get a little bit of a damage on them. If you have any good fuse materials like these Gibdo bones that you get from doing the Gerudo quest line, you can use these to quickly take out the heads. If you don't have any good fuse materials, the real goal here is to use your best bow and shoot each of these heads in the face until each of them have no health. Once that happens, they're gonna fall to the ground. Now, while they're on the ground, what I recommend doing is making sure that you drop another rocket on the ground and fuse it to your shield just like we did before. And then the second they start moving, you're gonna wanna launch up in the air to dodge their wind attack. And then from here, we're going to repeat the same process. It's probably gonna jump up in the air, so just prepare for that. And then we just need to hit each head once again. And we kinda just repeat this process. It's really easy once you know their mechanics. So they're gonna fall to the ground again. And as long as you're paying attention to their movement and making sure that you drop a rocket and fuse it to your shield each time they fall, all you need to do is just keep beating the heads over and over. The second this thing starts moving, always activate your rockets to dodge their wind attack. And then just wait for them to hop back up into the air and use whatever means necessary you have to take out each of the heads. It might take you a few tries to get used to this process, but the second you do, you will never have a problem defeating Gleox ever again anywhere in the game. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Little bit of a bonus for getting this armor, if you will. Now you can pick up all your precious rewards, like these Gleok Thunderhorns. You can use this method for every single Gleok in the game. Now head to the very back of this Colosseum, and you're gonna notice that there is a statue here with a sword, right? So what we need to do is we need to actually find the statue that does not have a sword in it, which is this one right here. There's also another trap door on the ground. Go ahead and activate Ultra Hand and grab this sword that's next to this wall right here. And we're just gonna move it in front of this statue like that. This is going to open up our trap door. There's a theme going on here, don't you think? Once that trap door is open, just hop yourself right on inside. You're gonna see a bunch of statues with swords. Just go ahead and go up to this chest, open it up. And we've got the Trousers of Awakening. Now, if you are in need of more weapons, you can actually pick these up for Soldier's Claymores. They're not particularly great, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Next, we're gonna go northwest of Central Hyrule to Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower. You're gonna yeet yourself out of this bad boy and then head to the Thundra Plateau. And guess what? There's 
lots of freaking thunder here. So you're going to have to have most of your weapons probably unequipped at this point. There's a couple different ways to solve this puzzle, but the easiest and least expensive is going to be chopping down these mushrooms that you see around this area. And then we're going to fuse them all into one long pole. You're going to need a total of five of these to be able to complete the puzzle. Once you get five of these connected, just lean it up against the southern pillar here, the one that has a broken top. Both the north and south pillar have a broken top, and you can tell the north one because on the other side of it, it has this stone pillar on the other side. Obviously, you can also look at your mini-map. From here, we can hold some wood in our hands, drop it on the ground, and then go as if we're going to throw our weapon, hold up on the D-pad, and we're just going to throw a fire fruit or use a flint, really whatever you can to start a campfire. Once the fire is gone, sit at your campfire and set it to noon. Hopefully at noon it's not going to be raining and you need to climb up this tower. If it is raining, you can use a rocket or literally whatever way you can to get up this tower. We're going to activate Ultra Hand, we're going to grab our giant freaking rod that we made. What we need to do is make this shadow match up perfectly with the other pillars so that way the door will open. It's a little bit complicated, but as long as you put your like makeshift pillar right here on this tower, it should line up the shadows perfectly. And it does have to be done around noon or obviously it won't work. So you got to try and do that as quick as possible. Then just hop down into your lovely little hole, run down to open up the chest. And now you've got the best piece of the armor set, the Mask of Awakening. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the full Link's Awakening outfit. Now, I could have sworn when I wore this full outfit for the first time, I got a different music when fast traveling for the first time, but I haven't been able to recreate it. Maybe I don't have an old enough save or maybe it was something else that triggered it to begin with. I don't really know, but... If any of you figure it out, would love to know in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next one.